Welcome to Theater Chat here on YouTube. We have a special guest today. Before I introduce him, I do want to remind you, please subscribe to Theater Chat here on YouTube so you can communicate with uh, all of your fellow performing arts lovers from state to state. And I also suggest that you go to Facebook and join USA Theater, spelled with an E-R. Once again, USA Theater on Facebook. Today's special guest is a wonderful uh, performer as well as a choreographer. He's uh, award-winning from Europe and he's come to the States to perform. We're very fortunate to have him today, so please welcome Alessandro Pelicani. Uh, Alessandro was in a production here in South Florida called uh, The Life. And uh, there has been some information about that on the web, but we wanted to interview him personally so you could get the, the story right here on YouTube. Uh, Alessandro, please tell us, uh, how did you find out about the audition for the show, The Life? Well, first of all, hi everybody. And um, yeah, I found out on Craigslist. It's a website where normally you can find talent gigs and event gigs. So apparently the company wasn't looking for choreographers, but they were looking for internship people. Uh, but I took my chance and I sent myself as a choreographer anyway. A um, couple hours later they called me and they hired me as a choreographer. Now I can say I've seen uh, Alessandro's work before, performing as well as choreography, and he's a phenomenal artist. And he was down here in Florida doing a show that normally takes about two weeks to put together? Yeah. Now the first, how many people were in the cast? About 13 people. 13 people in the cast, and how many out of state from the state of Florida? Uh, about nine. About nine of them living out of state. And what you haven't realized, if you're just joining us right now, or, uh, some of these cast members were actually stranded in Florida. The producers, and let me say up front, we're not trying to, we're not going to give the names of the theater. Uh, they rented the theater, so it doesn't matter. The, the information that we want to give you is to help artists in the, in the future so that, that this doesn't happen to them. Uh, what happened is that these cast members came down for a two-week rehearsal. Their first week, they were paid, correct? Yeah, we were paid, but we found out when uh, everything happened uh, that they closed the show that our paycheck didn't come from the production. So they find out after a week of rehearsals that the production company can't afford to pay them, but uh, someone else comes to the table and helps pay for this. Yeah. And uh, now you're in rehearsals another week. Now some of these people are in cast housing uh, and that aren't from Florida. So you're in rehearsals for another week and it's supposed to open that night? Yeah, the night that we were supposed to open the preview night. We we had to communicate from our producer that we couldn't open the show for uh, insufficient funding. They couldn't open the show because of un insufficient funding. So not only can they not open the show, now these cast members are in Florida, thousands of miles away from home, and they're not able to get home. So what did the producers tell you at that point? Well, they were told us that they're going to, whatever is possible for them to do in their power to try to get everybody home. and. What we believed was that they were trying to take, to gain time, so to find an excuse not to pay us. Oh my word. They could not pay them any money. They could not get them home. And from what I understand from the news, the police were involved. So the cast members call the police and say, we don't know what to do. Is that, is that what happens? Yeah, apparently I, I wasn't involved in all the... Miami Herald and CBS News and police things that was trying to deal in another way. Um, but uh, yeah, everything was on the news and a guy came forward, which is not even a producer or performer, it's somebody from real estate, that he offered the fly home for uh, the cast plus uh, a little fee to pay to the cast. So a gentleman that's not involved with the production at all, this angel appears from hearing their story on the news and he flies them home and gives them money so that they have money for food and things. And um, I know a lot of people at home are thinking, this would never happen to me, you know? But this could happen to any of you, and that's why we're sharing this information. I know some of the people on USA Theater on Facebook are uh, equity members, but we all remember before we had our equity card or after card or we were union, that show that, especially in this economy, you're willing to work anywhere to show what a wonderful choreographer you are or a performer. And uh, we want to let you know, you have to be careful. If you go on Craigslist, if you have to, any, any producer, anyone you want to work for, 
check them out ahead of time. Nowadays, with the electronics we have, it's easy to do so. So please join uh, USA Theater on Facebook and right here on Theater Chat to find out this information. But is there anything you would suggest to them in the future? Like, well, how did you uh, investigate it or find out that these people weren't something you would work for again or someone you would work for again? Well, I spoke with my lawyer first and uh, he made the research, so he found out on uh, state website that these people they were opening and closed corporation like a woman chase underwear. So they were that. they were opening in corporations under one name and the production would close and they wouldn't be able to pay these people. So of course the people in our state already knew about that. So that's why they went out of state to hire these people. So it's very and it's unfortunately this is legal because they open up these corporations, the corporation fails, and they don't fail, so they're able to do business as another corporation and start all over again. But if you, if you have doubts about a producer or a director or someone you're working with, you know, please go on Facebook, find another actor, ask about the state you're going to and what theaters they worked at and what do they know about the theater that you're working at so that you pick the right place to perform. Alessandro, is there anything else you want to share with them or for this learning experience so that uh, any other performer doesn't go through this ever again? Well, what can I say is um, whenever you get a, a contract from anybody, just make your own research, go on the internet, go on the SSDC website, go on the state website for uh, whatever state you're going to be, um, for the corporations, and check out this corporation because you never know who you're dealing with. He did go to the SSDC for uh, the Society of Stage Directors and Choreographers, and these producers' names were listed as, uh, as not to work for them, so it's very important to check out that information before you take a job. We want to thank you for joining us on Theater Chat today on YouTube. The important information I need to give you now is, again, please subscribe to Theater Chat. Please go to Facebook and join USA Theater, spelled E-R. I want to take this time to thank uh, Kimberly Juwan, Broadway star of Ragtime, and Marie Christine. She did a special event for us here that we'll show footage on later on Theater Chat. She helped us raise money as well as uh, Shirley Tripp from Dreamgirls. And they raised money for a company called Destined to Dance. And it actually gave them money to afford uh, shoes for children who could not afford dance shoes. So we will have some footage of that coming up in a future show. We want to thank Kimberly Juwan again of Ragtime, Marie Christine, and uh, Shirley Tripp from Dreamgirls. If you're a performer, we know how, how it is when you're working eight shows a week. Sometimes you don't feel like doing those special events. But it, it means so much to the community, so we want to thank them especially. And uh, for those other folks who are not actors and you're just watching this, you know, find out from your fellow people that you're on Facebook with, if that's a theater you should support and donate money to, because I think you'll find out which ones you should be donating money to and which ones are supporting the right things. Our next guest is going to be uh, SSDC director choreographer, he's award winner, Ron Hutchins, so look forward to that in the future. Thank you for joining us on Theater Chat, good, good day and God bless, thank you. And by the way, I, I want to let you know that uh, Alessandro has some amazing things coming up. So please tell us what your upcom uh, upcoming uh, projects are. Um, I'm going to start this coming Monday, May 4th, in Las Vegas rehearsal uh, as a performer this time for a show called Showstoppers, which we will be performing in, in uh, Washington State in uh, the month of June. After that, I'm going to be on tour for one year in USA with the Great American Royal Circus. First as a performer and then as a choreographer for them. And what I like to say about the Great American Royal Circus is that wherever we're going to be, if you cannot afford to pay a ticket to come and see us, you just need to bring a can of food and you can get into the circus for free. And that's how we're going to give back to the community for um, the food banks that are around America. That's a wonderful way to give back. So you donate food and you get tickets to the show. If you don't have money for tickets, then you know, donate your time for the theater. Work in the box office, help step, you know, step envelopes. Whatever you can do for theater right now in this economy is very important. And can they see your work on YouTube somewhere? Yeah, they can see my work on YouTube. They can see it more on Facebook. We have some articles about the life. 
So we'll post that information and you're welcome to leave your videos as well with any theater stories that you have. But please make sure you check that out for Alessandro. He's an amazing entertainer and I'm sure you'll see him in your state soon.